Thank you so much to Richard Pickering of the Plymouth Patuxent Museums for being here on AM Buffalo this morning talking to us about Thanksgiving, where it all started 400 years ago? It is. The event identified as the first Thanksgiving happened in the fall of 1621. So this is a major anniversary year. And with the country opening up again and families being able to gather, I think the emotional significance of this particular Thanksgiving is going to be huge. Here at the museum, I get to host a thousand or more Thanksgiving dinners and be with people from around the country, around the world who want to be here where the holiday started and see themselves as part of an American experience that stretches back a long time. See all the kids behind me? I do, how fun! The sad thing is it, for us this is low capacity. Prior mm. to COVID at this time of year we would see 2,000 children a day. Richard, tell me about this. It's kind of bittersweet, correct? The in-person turnout is not what it was in years past, but it's kind of blown up all over the world being able to celebrate Thanksgiving with you. Since pandemic, we have done so much more digital programming that our mm -hmm. membership has grown nationwide with people saying, wow, I'll buy a membership to the museum because it doesn't depend on uh, you know, free admission as the driver. I'm right. getting all of these monthly or bi-weekly programs digitally. So we're seeing a, a far more expansive membership than we've ever had before. Our numbers are beginning to return and we're seeing more children and more tours and more families. And what I love is when people are with me and I'm hosting dinners and saying, you realize that in 1621, the 52 English men, women, and children, and the, at a minimum, 90 Pocanocket men that were here, and we think there were other native communities here as well, they couldn't speak to each other. There were three native men who could speak English, not a single Englishman could speak the native language, yet they were able to feast, they were able to play sports, they were able to offer military demonstrations. That is a huge lesson, I think, for all of us in our current day and age. Exactly. In the 1910s, 1920s, the first Thanksgiving was kind of used as a tranquilizer that with the closing of the American West after 1890 and this perception that Native Americans were no longer dangerous, it became this kind of pastoral meal. Well, I think today as Americans, now it's not a pastoral tranquilizing event, it's one that challenges us to be our very best, most open-hearted selves. And as they showed excellence of diplomacy in 1621, we need to do this now around our tables as a nation. So tell us, Richard, how do we participate? Look at the website cplymouth.com. That will give you all the information about coming to visit us. What would you say, Richard, you're most thankful for this Thanksgiving? I am thankful that this story exists as an example to us because history is not important or meaningful unless it is pragmatic, unless we can apply it. So that I have the chance as a historian and other historians to tell this story and offer us the challenge of being our very best. That's what I'm grateful for, that this museum exists as a tool to help us build a better nation. That's beautiful, Richard. Thank you so much for being on AM Buffalo. Thank this you. was a pleasure. Thank you, my pleasure as well. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, and if you would That's like beautiful. to find more out more about the Plymouth Patuxent Museums, as well as visiting Plymouth, Massachusetts, celebrating 400 years of Thanksgiving, head over to Plymouth.org. It's super easy. Or visit Plymouth.org. So it's, oh, oh, you know what? I want to get this right. It's cplymouth.org. Ah, are there two websites? Yeah, there's two. And it okay. gets a little confusing because there's one for the museum and then one for visiting Plymouth, oh. Massachusetts. But we'll have both of those links on our website for you to check out okay. if you'd like to see that information. Beautiful. It's great stuff, especially for the kids to really understand what our nation was founded on and what we can do to improve. Yeah, our yeah, exactly. I think it, it's so important to look at our history, yes. you know, because it wasn't all good. But it's right. great to now be in a space where we can move forward, be thankful, and learn and from history. Learn. Yes.